r slash ask reddit what made you walk out of an interview i went to an interview and was ushered into an office that clearly did not belong to the interviewer in the ill-fitting suit after a few minutes it became clear that this marketing job was clearly a sales role as a marketing grad who specializes in analytics i wish people would stop listing sales jobs as marketing positions edit my first gold thank you kindly so we expect our employees to go above and beyond and went on to say that basically everyone will work 60 hours a week for 40 hours of pay see ya nice one when i was in high school the white castle down the street was hiring i lived in a bad area and it was open 24 7 i went in and applied but let them know that i was in school and couldn't do overnights because of that and because of the area they assured me that this was fine and that they could get me in after school and out before midnight i go in for interview orientation on a tuesday afternoon around 6 and they've got the schedule set i'm on after orientation 9 pm to 3 am or some shit so i pull the shift lead aside like hey i was told that because of my school situation i wouldn't be on overnights i'm on the schedule for overnight tonight i have school tomorrow and I wasn't even aware I'd have a shift today. I was told it was just orientation. How do we fix this? She goes. Well. Everybody gotta work overnight. It is what it is. I went. Gotcha. Thanks for your time. Took off the apron. Handed it to her. And left the her and the rest of the orientation group. Who were stunned. I noticed a sleeping bag and the interviewer said they get a lot of long nights and it beats driving home. Nope. I had an interview last year, teaching gig, the principal in charge of the interview was an hour late, that alone irritated me, but he showed up and we started the interview, 5 minutes in and he says hey let's walk around the campus, I'll show you around, that wasn't a big deal, we just walked and talked, the problem is that every time he saw someone, he'd stop and spend at least 5 minutes talking to them, regardless of whether or not I was done answering questions. I was there 2.5 hours for that interview. I said no. The position had been advertised as a $7 per hour waitressing job, which would be absolutely stunning due to 99% of serving jobs being $2 an hour. Drove 45 minutes. Halfway through the interview, I asked about the pay, since it was unusual for a restaurant to not try to pay the absolute minimum. Was expecting to hear that maybe they didn't do tipping. Or maybe that they just felt strongly about making changes to serving culture or something. Oh. No. It's the $2 HR. Obviously. Comma but. Oh. The ad said $7. He rolled his eyes. Then goes. Well. Yep. Yeah, you're gonna make $7 after tips. He knew full well what it looked like in the ad to say it was $7 HR. I was disgusted. Got up and left $2 HR I can deal with. Tricking people into applying by making it look way better than it is? No bueno. Dash. Edit because everyone outside of the USA is freaking out about the $2 thing. In the USA, wait staff is paid at an hourly rate of $2. They expectation in that they will reach the federal minimum wage level with tips. And if they do not, the restaurant is supposed to pay the difference. Spoiler. Often, it's more likely that they'll just cut your hours to nothing until you quit. Source. A tipped employee engages in an occupation in which he or she customarily and regularly receives more than $30 per month in tips. An employer of a tipped employee is only required to pay $2.13 per hour in direct wages if that amount combined with the tips received at least equals the federal minimum wage. If the employee's tips combined with the employer's direct wages of at least $2.13 per hour do not equal the federal minimum hourly wage, the employer must make up the difference. Many states, however, require higher direct wage amounts for tipped employees. Also, if you think that's terrible, I once briefly worked as an Outback Steakhouse takeout server. You still only make $2 HR, but then oh, 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 body tips you. Ever. Because they think you're not a real server. I was interviewing for a software development job that I didn't apple for, but contacted me. The job description was utterly ridiculous. It had a literal 30 something languages and technologies that it required. The job also paid below entry level for my field but wanted above what a senior dev does. 
I didn't want the job but I figured I'd interview for practice. I only matched 5 out of the 30-ish languages technologies they wanted but since they called me I figured they saw something in my resume they wanted. Well I found out shortly into the interview that they actually did want everything on the list. The lady interviewing me was offended that I showed up to the interview without matching their silly qualifications. I politely reminded them they contacted me and thanked them for their time and left. The job was still open for another 2 years after that day. I hadn't checked after that so who knows. Maybe it's still open. I went into an interview with a company when I was in college because they got my name off indeed. There was a room they filled with 30 of us listening to what could only have been an MLM scheme. After 45 minutes of talking about how awesome the company is, how much fun they have, and how much money they make and without any talk of what the actual job was I stood up and was the first person to leave. About half of the room left with me. I was a crew chief in a warehouse at my previous job. The interviewer read this on my resume and thought it said crew chef and asked me if this was a joke. I politely corrected him and explained my previous position. He didn't believe me but continued with the interview anyways. As the interview went on I quickly realized that the interviewer was in fact one of the supervisors in this facility and that not only did he fundamentally not understand the freight industry but he could barely read or spell. I knew there was no way I could work under this guy so I stood up. Thanked him for his time and left. He told me I was an idiot and was throwing away an incredible opportunity. I didn't even turn around to acknowledge him. It felt like a bad comedy sketch. I had this happen with a teacher at the community college once. He gave me a bad grade on my first paper. Which surprised me because I got stellar scores in AP English in high school. Turns out I was writing above his reading level. And he hated that. The pay. They needed a ton of references and multiple interviews. In the end she goes so the starting wage is the minimum wage. I said well. Your ad said $20 I know. Comma. She said that's after 15 years. I promptly walked out. Was invited to an interview through Monster for a job I hadn't applied for. I was desperate at the time and I said duck it. I'll go and give it a shot. Walked into a small commercial building and there were 7 or 8 folding chairs in a small entrance area with a hallway and a couple small offices attached. There were 5 older folks. Mid 40s. I was around 23 at the time. And they all had clipboards. A woman walked through the hall and says hello. Hands me a clipboard and to fill out the info. It was super weird. Asking for more personal and financial questions than I was willing to offer. Stuck around anyways for the interview. Office was set up super suspiciously like they'd thrown a painting on the wall. Plant in the corner and that's it. Finally sit down with the dude interviewing me. He kept talking about this big opportunity and to get in now while the getting is good. Blah blah. Never actually dictated what the job actually was. Realized it was a goddamn pyramid scheme almost immediately. I stopped dude mid-sentence and told him I appreciated the time but I'm going to have to pass. He was baffled. I then walked outside to the 5 or 6 people sitting there and told them all. While dude's door still ajar. That it was a pyramid scheme and to take the sheets of paper they were filling out and rip them up or take them with them. They all looked. Much like myself. Desperate. I felt horrible for them. Didn't stick around to see if any of them left or not. Total sketch. Edit. Thanks to you slash Gramps Contest Account 2 for providing and reminding me of the company name American Income Life. Pretty early into the interview she pointed out I had a gap in employment which was the 6 weeks between when I graduated in May and when I started in July. She asked me to explain it and I told her I signed with them in April before I graduated to start in July and took those weeks to get all my moving done and getting settled into a new town. She told me I would have to resubmit my application with an explanation for why I have that gap in employment at this point it was 6 years prior. And they shouldn't have passed me on for an interview without it. She also had zero sense of humor. Took everything very seriously. And was dogmatic about how the company operates. This was to be my supervisor. She read some behavioral question about a situation. Can't remember specifically. And I asked her to elaborate on the circumstances. And she just repeated the question verbatim without looking up from the sheet. It was at that point I sat back side and said i don't think this is going to be a good fit but thank you for your time she dumped my papers into the trash bin next to her desk and said well thanks for wasting my afternoon i shook my head and walked out 
Back when I was doing hourly work I got a long voicemail from a retail store asking me to call them back to set up an interview. I called them back as soon as I could and explained to whoever was on the phone that I got a call about XYZ and they transferred me to the manager. The manager gets on the phone and says, Hi, thanks for calling me back. Just so you know sweetie, it's incredibly rude to not ask for a person by name over the phone. I can't even recall if this person stated their name in the incredibly long voicemail I got. I stopped her there and said sorry, I'm no longer interested in this position. Bye. Oof, that sweetie churns my noodles. I realized I was way out of my depth. The job was in my field, at a salary that would be sensible for my level of experience and qualification and the job ad was pretty boilerplate for what I do. Through the interview it became clear that what they were actually looking for was someone to do some very advanced modeling as well as effectively replace a CFO who was retiring. I told them quite bluntly that I could probably learn the modeling, but I wouldn't be able to hit the ground running, and elements of the CFO role would have to be outsourced. By law, if they hired me as I wasn't qualified enough to carry them out, and while I'd possibly consider the job on those conditions, the salary they're offering for the expertise and experience they needed was at least 50% too low. They looked a bit shocked so I just said also, I'm not very good at playing the corporate game. I say what I think which is a very useful thing for advising the sea level because I don't have an agenda and I don't play politics. I just wanted to put my cards on the table so we don't waste each other's time. At that point one of them got really angry, red in the face, raised voice so I stood up, thanked them for their time and started walking out. He actually tried to stop me getting out the door because you don't walk away from me but I just laughed and his colleague pulled him away. One of the more interesting interviews I've had. The demanded that I give them my social security number before I could be interviewed. I told them I would happily provide them with my SS when I was hired. They wouldn't let me into the interview without it. I just left. Was contacted for an IT position in a nearby town. Put on the suit. ETC. And got there about 20 minutes early. There were 4 other people in the reception area. No worries. I was confident in my skills. Soon enough I met with my interviewer. We went over my credentials and background. And I was asked career relevant questions. Then about 15 minutes into the interview the interviewer said something which I found a little odd. So I asked for clarification. It was then that I was told it was for a sales job. Specifically a cold calling sales job. They started extolling the virtues of a career change. I said something along the lines of this not being the position I was led to believe and left the room. As I was leaving one of the interviewers made a remark about me making a big mistake. I stopped in the lobby on the way out and made the general announcement that whatever job they were here to interview for. It's actually a cold call sales job. About 2 stroke 3 of the people in the room got up and left with me. And I got a bunch of glares from the workers there. When I got back outside I parked my car near the entrance and told anyone who looked like they were going in for an interview that it was a cold sales job. I was there for about 45 minutes before a police car rolled up and had me move along. One of the people in the office heard what I was doing and called them. Turned out to be a door to door sales position. Just interrupted their pitch. Told them I wasn't interested and left. Kept me waiting for 25 minutes. Offered no apology. I handed them the expense costs of my trip and told them I was no longer interested. If I had been 25 minutes late, it would have cost me the job. They had already messed me about by switching the role from full time to fixed term contract between the first interview and the second. So I noped the duck out of there and spent the day chilling in London. They called the police on the guy who was waiting to interview after me. He was just a native American dude sitting in this hotel lobby. The job was at a hotel. The guy interviewing me saw him, brought me into his office and then called the cops and said there was a homeless guy who wouldn't leave the lobby. I tried to explain that I had talked to him and that he was also applying for the job. But the guy didn't care. I just said wow well, man. I don't want to work for a place like this and left. He seemed genuinely stunned and angry that I walked out. When I found out that the company was an MLM. Had an interview for a warehouse supervisor. Arrived a little early in front desk had me go over to the shipping department office and wait for the operations manager. 
sat down by his office and overheard him having his meeting with other supervisors and leads. Heard screaming and throwing off stuff. Constant degrading vocabulary. Noped out off there quickly. I was told I would be interviewed by three people at once. Which is not that unusual. What they didn't tell me was that they were going to have six other candidates in the room vying for one position. I didn't walk out. But I did pull an interviewer aside and say I was no longer interested in the position. I arrived for the interview and was told the person who arranged the interview the day before was no longer with the company. Okay. The person led me down to the workplace in the bowels of the building. We sat down and she started explaining the hours and pay. Minimum wage with no increase for at least a year. Okay. She pointed to two guys who were standing by a wall staring at us and said that whenever I wasn't busy I would help them. Meanwhile there was a line of customers waiting for service while they stared at me and whispered to each other. Okay. She never once looked at my resume or references. Okay. Then she pulled out the paperwork to start me working and said my first shift would be the next day. Okay. I said I don't think this is going to work for me and thanked her. She just sighed and said fine. I kept track and that job is regularly posted on job sites. We only need this for census information and it won't affect if you get hired followed by a laundry list of questions about sexual orientation, family history, gender, political affiliations. Like if it's just for census you would ask after you've hired someone. Nothing crazy, but I had an interview for an accounting position and when the interviewer started describing the job duties to me they included running errands and planning the cookouts for the staff. When I asked what accounting duties there were he said oh. Like mailing out invoices, I thanked him for his time and walked on out. People interviewing for accounting positions most likely aren't going to be willing to drop down to errand boy title. I also can't imagine how little money they would have offered for that position. I interviewed once to be a hypnotist's assistant. The hypnotist explained to me the job entailed sitting in the audience, volunteering to be hypnotized as part of the act, pretending to go into a hypnotic trance and removing my clothes. I didn't proceed with the rest of the interview. Thinking face. I really wanted this job. I prepped for a week and a half for the interview. Go in. Met with two people. It's going great. 45 minutes later they tell me that position had already been filled. But they liked me enough for a position that was part time and half the salary. Which also meant no benefits. It was like going to a shoe store saying you need a 7.5 in black and the guy comes back and says. Yeah we don't have a 7.5, but here's a 12 in green you can try. If the job is no longer available, delete it from your site. Don't play people and waste their time. LOL guess I'm still a little sore about this. I was gonna try to wait tables at a local IHOP. Was already not excited because the place was infamous for danger but I needed the money. Walk to the interview a half mile and over a highway overpass to show up 10 minutes early. I sat for 40 minutes waiting for the manager. He's got no paperwork. Can't find my application. We sit down and he starts asking the cookie cutter questions from memory. He's not writing anything down but that's fine. About 10 minutes and he gets called into the kitchen. I patiently wait 8 more minutes before letting a member of the staff know I was leaving. He catches me at the front door and asks. So you don't want the position? I told him. No. I understand that you're busy. But I've been here for an hour and I've only spent 10 minutes with you. He apologized and I accepted it. I felt bad for the guy but I have to look out for myself too. First interaction with a company beyond scheduling my interview. Come in and take a 6 page written test of logic problems. Take a 2 hour programming test. Then a face to face to actually talk. And it was for just some random ass financial company. Not like Google or any major tech company. I finished the written test and walked out. Duck that interview process. I don't even want to work somewhere with that kind of attitude even if they offered me the job. A competitor was trying to hire me away from my bank. The head of research asked me what it would take to hire me away. I said a lot more money. He said I like to hire people who aren't motivated by money. I laughed and replied that I wasn't aware his bank was a charity. Got up and left. I once went in for an electronics technician position open that was offering $19 HR. I get in 
and the hiring manager goes oh yeah, so we actually have a shortage of transducer technicians at the moment, we need more transducer technicians than we do electronic technicians, so we are only offering you that job, also, the pay for it is $11 HR, also, due to us being short staffed you will be in paid on call and must be here within an hour of us calling you from 4am to 11pm monday saturday, nope the duck out of there. I've been asked some strange questions, why is a manhole round, how many gas stations do you think there are in the country, so the animal one wouldn't throw me, but having an interviewing act offended and dress me down, I'd walk too. I never actually made it to the interview but I'll tell the story anyway, I was a student applying for a placement in a financial role at an engineering company, the application clearly stated that I would be working at a local site about 5 minutes from my home. I got through all the preliminary stuff, competency tests, online interviews etc and was asked to do an assessment center, I was completely fine with that, until they told me it would be taking place in 2 days time, nearly 200 miles away from where I live, starting at 8am, I got in contact with them and they were willing to compensate me for my travel and accommodation, a total of 53 pounds, the train tickets alone were nearly 200 pounds and the closest available accommodation a short notice was 7 miles away. The even more ridiculous thing was they said this was the first of multiple assessment centers they would require me to attend. Naturally, I didn't need to use my economics degree to figure out that spending hundreds of pounds on the chance of a placement was a bad investment, so I didn't attend. No great story. It was a small software company in London. They were interested in my background in XP, an early method of agile software development, but it turned out that they just wanted to generate code faster whereas XP was more about quality and predictable timelines. Then they wanted me to do a Java test, but it was the sort of thing which would have taken a couple of days and they had not set a time bound, I doubt if they had used it before. Basically disorganized. The fact it went from a merchandising job to a sketchy vacuum sales job where we only get paid from our sales commissions in cash. This was all in a group interview that felt like we're being sold a timeshare. Didn't even make it to the interview. I had applied for a marketing company through ZipRecruiter. Within 5 minutes I had an email, text, call, and voicemail from the company. I had applied for this job while at work so I had to wait a few minutes to sneak outside to call back no answer, left a message, sent an email, no response, sent a text, no response, two days later get a call and email saying hey we haven't heard back, please visit this link to schedule an interview, I click link and it has interview times from 9 1 every 30 minutes and I can't leave for lunch until 1 at the earliest, again I called to see if I can schedule for 1 30 and no response, I just ended up scheduling an interview and not showing up, they actually called the next day to see if I forgot and I told them my situation and the lady just said og equals h sorry I haven't really checked my messages recently and I just said thanks but no thanks. I requested for a raise and was invited to an interview. My duties at the company were progressively changing and my tasks were becoming quite high tear. If I missed deadlines, it'd have a small impact on the company's income. I didn't think it was fair to give me tasks with such responsibility, without a raise. The interview was a train wreck. My boss colleague kept walking on eggshells and avoided the subjects I brought up all the time. I got extremely fed up with it and walked out, left my boss a 3.5 week notice, end of month, and said I had made my decision to pursue other options. I was interviewing for a position as a digital strategist at a large bank. I show up in a suit. What with this being a bank and all, 10 minutes before the interview, the head of the department rocks up 25 minutes late wearing flip flops, shorts and a polo shirt, which seems weird for the environment but okay. Another guy joins us, I had no idea I was going to be tag teamed, but I roll with it. We wait for the elevator alongside 10-12 employees to get to the conference room, at which point the guy in shorts loudly asks me so why, name of bank? He basically starts the interview in front of these perfect strangers and continues to pelter me with questions until we get to the meeting room. The department head was a trained psychologist, and it was so clear these two guys had a good cop bad cop dynamic going on. The other dude would ask me sympathetic, softball questions, 
immediately followed by the department head asking extremely granular questions to scenarios to which I'd have no prerequisite for an answer. This interrogation went on for about two and a half hours. When he kept pressing me to give them a very confidential strategy document I had created for another large company I used to work for, I decided I in no way, shape or form wanted to work for a psycho like that, wrapped up the interview and wrote them a no thank you email after. In early high school I was looking for some easy job and a friend directed me to a catering place. I didn't have a license so I'd just be moving the food from place to the truck to the venue. Immediately the guy interviewing me commented on my weight. Something along the lines of you're a little chunky aren't you? I'll have to grab a large apron. I wasn't happy with my weight. But I was starting to go to the gym with a friend and was already down 10 pounds and still a bit insecure for my weight. He showed me around and it was okay except he was a little sassy to me until I went to leave and shook his hand. He said something about my handshake even though I couldn't quite wrap my hand around his enough to grip it and as I folded the apron so I wouldn't have to carry it like a jacket he went off on me telling me it'll cause folds and it better not have. Any when I'm working and took it back and said head give me another one so he was sure there won't be any folds on it. I was in high school but I'm not an idiot who's never used an iron before. He called a day later to ask when I was available and I told him don't bother. I don't want to work with someone like you in charge. Former acquaintance and her boss flat out lied about wanting to meet with me about consulting related to what I actually do for a living. Turned out to be a group MLM pitch with a few other people. The moment I realized, I got up in the middle of their stupid presentation. However, these guys were slick AF. I keep up to date with anti-MLM stuff. But they didn't use the regular catchphrases and were very good at talking so quickly and dancing around questions. Plus free snacks. Damn. Interviewed for a data analyst supply chain position. After sitting with this man for 2 hours. And basically accepting the job. He starts walking me around the office and introducing me to folks. We then walked over to the call center where he said this is where you'll be starting. I says what? He then proceeds to explain that the company believes in a top to bottom approach and all employees benefit from spending some time in every position. After only 8-9 months in the call center, I would then transition to the analyst role. I said nah son. I never understand the concept of using that animal question. That sounds like something from a dated textbook. I was asked that when applying for a Macy's sales associate position, you're supposed to respond like tiger or panther and it's supposed to reveal to the interviewer what you kind of person you are but it never makes sense or is accurate. I like sea creatures so I would automatically gravitate towards those kinds of animals but that doesn't summarize my capabilities or who I am. It's just an interest or preference. It was supposed to be a sideways move from one city department to another. They were going to pay me a 3 stroke 4 of my old pay on 3rd shift. I ended the interview right there. Whoa. You made it to the end? You're a ducking beast. I'll cut you a deal. Smash like and subscribe for more curated content bruh. It's free and that's a great price.